Interesting news, free games and updates, and two big events to go over. I'm a lucky TCP and welcome to GNN. Hey everybody, so today we're kicking off GNN by talking about some very interesting stuff. Right off the bat, we're talking about the PS5 price, or rather the lack of price. Sony has opened up pre-orders for the PS5 directly from PlayStation.com. Now, reservations will be on a first-come, first-served basis, which makes sense for this kind of reservation, but basically you're signing up to put money down without knowing exactly how much you're going to put down? Another live-action take on the Resident Evil series is in the works. This time, it's in the form of a Netflix original series. The show's being written by Andrew Dabb, who actually worked on Supernatural. We're getting eight episodes, and each will be an hour long. While we haven't gotten any Sonic news in a long time, it looks like nothing can keep the blue blur out of the spotlight, as the series is collaborating with Ninjala during the game's second season. While we don't know too much about this yet, it's safe to say we're probably going to see some Sonic-themed cosmetics coming around. Maybe some in-game items, maybe some loot, maybe some weapons. Who knows, it's going to be a fun time. Halo veteran Joseph Stanton has temporarily joined 343 Industries, becoming the project lead on Halo Infinite. Now he's worked as the director of cinematics on the first three Halo games, so here's hoping that he can reignite that spark that made all those games such a monumental experience. The first inductee has been chosen for the Esport Awards Lifetime Achievement, Class of 2020, and it's none other than legendary fighting game champion Daigo Umahara. Now this dude's been competing since he was 14 years old, and over 25 years later, he's still winning championships. So congratulations to Daigo. Finally, Bloomberg claims that Nintendo plans to unveil a slew of huge titles, as well as an upgraded Switch console sometime in 2021. Now we don't have any specifications for this yet, but the article states that Nintendo's been looking into 4K gaming. Now this rumor about a Switch Pro has been around the internet pretty much the entire year. I'm thinking if it was true, or it is true, they're going to announce it sometime in December, maybe November, and release it quarter one in 2021. Moving right along, some updates have come out for a few games. Hitman and Shadowrun Collection are free on the Epic Games launcher until September 3rd, so grab them while you can. The Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection Reploids Remix DLC is now free to all owners of the game. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. Previously, the DLC was only available for those who pre-ordered the game before, and it includes six alternate background tracks and four special arrangements by series veteran composers. Next up, Fortnite Season 4 features a huge Marvel crossover, I'm talking galactic proportions, because it's called Nexus War, and in it you'll be fighting Galactus to save all of reality. Mega Evolution finally makes its way to Pokemon Go. I can't even count how many times I've seen that people wanted this. The update includes a bunch of new cosmetics, special research, and a cool three-week event all about Mega Evolution. You should totally check it out. For this last section, we're going over the two big events that happened this week, being the Nintendo Direct Mini and Gamescom. First off, the Nintendo Direct Mini was an 11-minute partner showcase that featured updates on previously announced games and a few reveals. I'm personally interested in Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, and Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. Okay, now for the big one. Gamescom Opening Night Live was held on Thursday and featured over two hours of game-related updates and announcements. Now, if I was to talk about everything, I would literally be here forever, so I'm just going to list off a few games that I found really interesting. We got the full reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. We got the Doom Eternal expansion, I think it's called The Ancient Ones, it was teased a little while back. We got a first look at Dragon Age 4, they showed off some really cool concept art. A freaking Sam and Max VR reboot, that was awesome. Uh, we got new levels from Crash Bandicoot 4, Teardown got some new gameplay, that's been on my Steam wishlist forever. Star Wars Squadron single player was shown off, that looks really good. The Sims 4 is getting a Star Wars expansion pack, that kinda came out of nowhere, but totally welcome. I thought we were gonna get a Back to the Future game, cause Doc Brown freaking showed up, but we ended up just getting Surgeon Simulator 2. Fall Guys Season 2 has a really cool medieval theme to it, I'm really excited for that. And of course Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart got an extended gameplay trailer. And that's just a taste of the cool games that got announced, there were so many that I can't even scratch the surface. And to end the show as always, we have the games that released this week. Wasteland 3. Captain Tsubasa, Rise of the New Champions. Jump Force, Deluxe Edition. 
Tell me why. Madden NFL 21. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. And that's going to be it for GNN. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next Sunday.